I know, I know, if you read my description in the about me section of this channel, I keep saying that I'm trying to cut coffee. That's on pause. I just like the taste so much. And recently, my stomach hasn't been reacting as poorly to it. So, you know, mm. since I'm here anyway, I don't know if you can see these nails. So the story of that is my partner's high school friend's girlfriend got a lot of free samples and they were kind enough to invite us over and I saw some of the nail colours there that I'd never tried in my life before and it's been like, what, 10 years since I really put nail varnish on and I got really excited. I also noticed that I start picking at them on the third day. I don't know why. It's very satisfying to kind of like pick it off. You're not supposed to do that and it's probably not great for your nail either but I've been loving trying out these colors. Like this is a dark green that I've never done before. And the only reason why it's cheap is because I've been picking at it, not because of the quality. The quality of this one's actually really good. I wonder what color I should do next. Hmm. It's been a lot of fun. This is really lucky that she got those samples and she was kind enough to share it with us. So yeah, yee. today we're going to be doing something that I've been trying to do for a long time, which is dye my hair. Do I have whiskers? <laughs> All right, let me show you what we're going to be getting up to today. Hello, I am back. Okay, so I've put on a top that I don't mind getting wrecked, kind of. The reason is because this is what we're going to be doing today. Dun dun dun, dun dun. Apparently, I need to first do this. I am not well versed in dyeing hair. Okay, okay, let me refresh. I was going to go to a hair salon in early August. And then I was going to do like, what is it called? The balayage, balayette, balayage, balayage, balayage. I think that's what it's called. And then I had my friend's wedding to go to. For all the bridesmaids, I think we were supposed to have more natural color, whereas I was going to go with a wackier color and I didn't want to be like, you know, the one that stands out in a bad way. So I decided to dye my hair afterwards. When I came back to the States, uh, the wedding was in London. Here's the vlog in case you haven't seen it. I came back, I was messaging and doing some research on which hairdressers to do it with. And then I found out, maybe it's just because I don't dye my hair that often. It's actually not cheap at all. <laughs> I should have done it at a cheaper hair salon in Asia, but I didn't. I think I was quoted like $500 or something. So I thought, okay, you know what? Scrap that, I'm going to buy my own and then figure it out. One thing to note is I have pretty sensitive hair. I mean, no, sensitive scalp. Uh, you must be thinking like, oh, help me. why are you bleaching your hair if it's sensitive? I want the color. I was originally gonna go pink, but this is blue. But that's a separate matter. So I don't dye close to my scalp, close to my roots. What I have to do is do some sort of an artistic gradation. Basically, my job today is to make sure that I don't come out of this looking Silly. I hope that's possible. This is the L'Oreal Paris something something. Hyper Platinum Advanced Lightening System. Lightens up to eight levels, which I don't even know if I'll need because my hair is darker, but it is relatively thin. Okay, I have to read the instructions because I do not know how to do this. Woo! Gloves. Or oh, gloves. Oh, here's the second one. <clears throat> Put on the clothes, gloves, draped out of your shoulders, prepare the clothing. Eh, eh, eh. Hmm. Nah. Is this it? Bleaching powder. No, that doesn't look like the developer. This is the developer. I found you. This first, right? Ta-da. I should get a chair thing. Look, I found this. This could be useful. All right, so I have this, I have this. They told me to loosen this, done that. You know how I said earlier that I was not getting much heartburn from coffee? I'm suddenly feeling it a little bit. I wonder why. This is gonna, I cannot fit this whole thing in the, you're supposed to fit it all in the nozzle and then pour it in, but that's not happening. So I'm just kind of gonna, can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I should watch what I'm doing instead of the camera. I think that's empty. That's done. All right, I'm like just chucking everything in the sink. There's white powder everywhere. It looks dodgy, but hopefully we'll be okay. Oh wait, I was supposed to put gloves on. Hello. <laughs> All right, done. Ooh, it's coming out. Look 
da. Is this the way that you guys use your toothpaste? I always like it when I squeeze it from one end to the end. But then, you know, when it runs out, you'll know when you run out, as opposed to squeezing it from the middle all the time. It just gets kind of messy, doesn't it? Ta-da! All squeezed out. Until it becomes rich and creamy. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell when it becomes rich and creamy. Now, to avoid it from bursting, I'm going to open it. Never smell hair dye. Never smell hair dye. Smell poisonous. Lightning preview test. I did not do that. My hair is probably... Oh, wow. This goes really blonde. I did not realize. Do not use on relaxed hair. What does that mean? Do not use on relaxed hair. My hair is relaxed. Because my hair's supposed to be stressed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that goes really, 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 really blonde. Oh, I see what they're doing. So first I'm going to do the very tips. I need to decide how far I want the blondness to go because if it goes too far up, it might look kind of bad. I should have done this research beforehand. But essentially, it's 20 to 30 minutes and then an additional 20 minutes. Do not exceed 60 minutes. We're going to look up a reference photo to see what looks good. Dip dye, is that what it's called? These are the photos that I'm getting. It's so hard to type with the gloves. Those look really cool, but I'm not sure if I can go that high up. Wait, I need a timer. The timer is ready and start. Let's do this. Can you see it getting lighter? I don't know if it shows up on camera or not. It's been about 50, I want to say 55 minutes. And they say the max is 60 minutes, but this is definitely not going a platinum color. It's supposed to go eight shades lighter, so it should actually be getting to this color. Uh, mm, not quite. Yeah, look at that. What is that? False advertising. Mm -mm. Okay, so what I did just now is I grabbed a lot more of the product and I redistributed it. Hopefully that will lighten the ends a little bit more because they're still kind of more on the orange side. I think there's like one patch in the back you can see better than I can. That might be a little bit funky. I just washed off the bleach. It's a lot darker than I expected still, but maybe it's just because it's wet. I put on the purple shampoo, which you're supposed to do with the gloves, which I did, and you're supposed to keep this on for five minutes. So I'll do that and then I'll wash that off. Then I can finally condition with this thing and then we'll see whether or not it actually does anything to the color i need to leave it on for three to 20 minutes i can do multiple applications until desired color is achieved guys i just made an absolute mess i accidentally spilt coffee so everything is look the paper towels how am i going to use the paper towel this space is going to stink of coffee for a long time you see this is what i mean coffee just hates me. It is not a healthy, balanced, reciprocal relationship. There's obviously a, a vendetta. It's always trying to sabotage me. Oh, dear me. This is gonna stink. I'm gonna have to come back to clean this with one of those all surface cleaners. I mean, I like the smell of coffee, but you know, you can't have it all the time. I used a lot of this. Nothing came out. The color was just not there. So I've gone in for a second round of bleach and it is looking a lot lighter now. And then I got recommendations to heat it up, to heat up the hair. But since it's kind of late for me to use foil and I only have one piece, I do however have a hair dryer. I can't believe I'm hair drying bleach on my hair. This is basically the stage that it's at right now. I'm quite okay with the gradation. I think there is one spot in the back that is a little lighter than the rest. However, this is definitely not this color. Literally just now ran out and bought this, which I'm kind of curious about. I wish they had the blue one, but they had the silver, which I thought I could pair with that conditioner. And this, which I was recommended by a friend to leave in my hair with either olive oil or coconut oil to help take off the brassy color, which is definitely on here it says, I'm a direct dye. What you see is what you get. Unlike permanent hair dye, I don't develop. So technically if I put this on, it should work, right? This looks so icky, can you see? Mm. 
the color's a bit dark. When I was asking friends for advice, they were all telling me stuff and to me it's all gibberish. I did not realize that this would be so much more work. I guess that's why I was surprised when someone told me that it took them seven hours to dye their hair. I was thinking, what? Seven hours? Now I'm thinking, yeah, okay, on and off, this probably does add up to a very long stretch of time. Hello, it is early next morning. The color ended up not really being good. It was blonde orange. I don't know, I actually should have shown you first. What I've done now is put in more of the silver and blue conditioner. I'm gonna keep it in this plastic bag. I realize I don't have foil. I don't even have a shower cap. I don't know why. I usually collect those from the hotels because they can be really useful, but I don't have that. I have this and then this is a sports one that I bought ages ago and never used because it was too tight. But this is the perfect thing to use it for, I think, because it will keep the bag in place. Yeah, I'm gonna just let it sit there for a long while and then hopefully some color will come out and I won't look orange. Welcome back to me chronicling the journey of my kind of failed hair dyeing attempt. I washed out the second morning of stuff and I put it in for quite a long time and it's still orange. This is when it's worse. I'm going to dry it real quick and then show you. So I did a couple of test strands here with a blue permanent box hair dye and I actually quite like how it turned out and what else was in it was the instructions bag, the developer, the colour as well as a colour after treatment. The DIY plastic cap is back on and now we wait. You guys, I messed up. <laughs> it turned out a lot darker than I expected, which is different to the test piece that I did, which I actually really liked the color of. I'm not even sure you can tell that I changed my hair. Ta-da! And it's a bit patchy in the back as well. What did I do? Okay, well, no matter what, I definitely need to let my hair fix itself and repair itself for a bit. And then maybe I can come back in to fix it and somehow lighten it. How does permanent hair dye work? Does it wash out? Mm, I made a mistake. It has a nice ashy tint. I quite like that. But I wish it were lighter because then you can actually see that there is a color there as opposed to it just being dark. And it looks like, oh, she tried something, but she wasn't brave enough to go the whole way. But no, I did. I went and went orangey yellow and then back to a dark color. Well, I've shown my friend the lighter color. I guess I'm going to be surprising them with dark hair again. <sighs> well, thank you very much for joining me on this journey. Let me know if you guys have had any hair dyeing experiences or stories where you did it yourself and it either worked or didn't work. And what did work for you if it did? because I am obviously a bit of a rookie. <laughs> Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye.